Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at Org Cult and Edron, which is yet another relatively niche respawn. Not that many people hunt here. Um, for good reason, some of the, you know, some of the things about this respawn make it quite annoying. However, it's not too bad if you are in this sort of level range, around level 130. Um, I would consider coming here at least to complete uh, a couple of beast cherries just to have it done because it's going to be a real pain in the ass at higher level. So, oh yeah, just something to consider. Anyway, I recommend starting level of 130 to have access to ultimate health potions and a slightly larger health pool. Uh, raw experience is somewhere around 1.15 kk per hour, uh, which is about 1.75 kk per hour on 150. A uh, loot is somewhere around 200k profit per hour. The loot, the profit comes mostly from broken shamanic staffs which is the imbuement item used in the magic level imbuement and those drop from the orc called priests in addition to this you will drop some orc teeth which are also i think used for some sort of imbuement so they're quite they're a little bit uh valuable and also a lot of warrior helmets drop from orc cult, orc cult fanatics so you'll be picking up quite a few of those so yeah reasonable profit definitely going to pay for your imbuements and have a little bit of profit in addition to that Overall tier rate and give it as a B. Difficulty 4 out of 10. For Beast Jerry, you'll need about 2.5 hours for Inquisitors, 3 hours for Minions, 5 hours for Priests, Cultists, and 6 hours for Fanatics. So all in all, it'll take you about 6 hours for 5 25 um, monster Beast Jerry. So 6 hours for 125 points total, about 20 per hour or so on average. Um, it's not it's not a terrible place definitely you know worthwhile to get those beast cherries i will admit that i've completed this beast cherry three or four times now on four different characters and it does get boring it's it's uh hunting here for six hours is challenging uh, i would say it's relatively comfortable to complete the first two beast cherries for the inquisitor and the minion in three hours i definitely recommend you do that uh but i know myself that i get really bored after that and i don't really want to do the priests cultists and fanatics but uh, you know, it is worthwhile to do it at some point. Definitely easier to do it at level 130 than at level 530 because at level 500, you're really overkilling this spawn and it's it's a major chore. So I, I, I'd advise against that. Anyway, uh, like I mentioned, level 130 plus, you will need to complete the Cult of Tibia access quest to this place only. Uh, as part of this quest, um, it re requires you to, um, for the Oracle Priests to cast their spell on you where it changes your appearance to a particular orc on each level to pass through the gate. Once you've passed through the gate once, uh, you don't need to do the access again. So it only takes you about five minutes total first time you come here. So nothing really major. Uh, you'll need a best 200 physical weapon free in your slot to end this place and be effectively hunted by knights and paladins. Maybe, maybe druids or sorcerers. Uh, probably not because the oracle priests have an AOE heal and they heal all the monsters around them, which is kind of annoying if you're a mage because your damage output's not that high. So sometimes you can struggle to kill the monsters due to the heal. Definitely would not come here on a mage on like a level 130, maybe on like a 200 plus. For imbuements, all standard imbues prior prioritize physical protection followed by skill gifts like 88 physical, 7% energy and 4% fire. Nothing really major to worry about. Uh, supplies per hour, you'll want about 1500 strong mana potions and maybe about 10 health potions of some type, uh, great or UHP. Uh, for charms and wheel, not really anything worth to talk about at this level. And the character you will see in the, vi in the video is a level 149 EK with 108 sword skill with loyalty and no combat praise. Now we're going to take a look at the route that I take. Um, it's relatively complex. There's three different floors that you're going to be going on. So I'll do my best to draw it out as well as possible. However, uh, do try to bear with me. Uh, so we'll start on minus one. You come in through here from level, well, I call it level zero, but that's already like level minus three or whatever. But never mind, let's call this level minus one. So you'll come in here, you'll do a pull somewhere around here. Then I usually go in here, do a little pull, do a little pull, do a little pull. At this point, I go down to minus two. I'll go and do this pull. Then I'll go do this pull. Uh, sometimes I'll do another pull in here, depending on the respawn rate. Uh, so up to you. But usually I'll go up here, do a pull here, pull here pull some around here then I go down to minus three so once I go down to minus three I start with a pull by the rope spot then I'll usually go here do a pull around here 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 and I go back up to minus two and at this point you're really gonna have to kind of figure out where um, 
where there's enough respawn. Usually when you get up to minus two, you're probably going to almost run back to like somewhere around here. So like maybe you'll be able to dis this pull again. Uh, you probably won't have enough respawn to do this pull or this pull just yet. Uh, so you'll probably start with do this pull, then do this pull and go back up to minus one. Uh, at minus one, you should probably go on the left hand side to complete a minus one loop. So obviously, so I'll go when I'm, you know, so sort of coming back, I'll go through here, do a pull somewhere around here maybe. And then I'll restart from this very first pull and go go this way. Uh, so it's it's a little bit annoying. There's not quite that much respawn. This is especially why it's not so fun to come here at a higher level. And when I why I strongly recommend coming here at a lower level to complete the beast cherry, because it is a real pain to come here at a higher level. So yeah, not an amazing spot, but also not a bad spot. Definitely some reasonable experience rates, solid profit. So uh, yeah, if you're if you're a relatively low level EK, I would recommend getting this out the way, completing the beast cherries before you reach high level. Anyway. That's all I have for you today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll play you the video now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.